Let's take a look at a quick example here. Suppose you want to either make eyeglasses or a magnifying glass. To make a pair of eyeglasses you need two pieces of glass, whereas to make a magnifying glass you only need one piece of glass. Again, assume these are the same size piece of glass. Your contribution margin on a pair of glasses is $10, whereas you only make eight on a magnifying glass. Now, if there was no constraint around glass, and if these took the same time to produce, I think it would be fairly straightforward to see that we would want to make as many of the eyeglasses as possible, because you make $10 per unit as opposed to eight. But that doesn't hold if you only have two lenses available. If you really only have two pieces of glass available, then I hope it's obvious that you would want to make two pairs of magnifying glasses because you could make $8 on each of them and that's $16 and $16 is greater than $10. The math on this is actually what's called the contribution margin per constrained resource. And I'll show you how you calculate that. If we take $10 and divide it by, by the two pieces of glass we have available, this gives you $5 per piece of glass. In contrast, if I drag that formula over, I make $8 per piece of glass for the magnifying glasses, and therefore it makes sense to favor making a magnifying glass over a pair of eyeglasses.